Our committee is sending two recommendations to the General Assembly for action. The first calls upon the church to enter into a two-year season of study and discernment at the presbytery and congregational level concerning the meaning of Christian marriage. The second recommendation is to approve Overture 1304, which would amend marriage language in the Directory for Worship by substituting the words a man and a woman with two people. These two recommendations would answer for the other overtures brought by the Presbyteries to Committee 13. The recommendations we bring to you are, in, are intended to be taken together. The committee's desire is that the whole church have an opportunity to engage in a measured, deliberate, and deep study and discernment of the nature of Christian marriage. But we felt it was insufficient to merely call for study. And instead of making a decision on behalf of the church, we wanted to hear the voice of the whole church. Thus, we bring before you an action to prompt church-wide discernment, an overture to amend our constitutional definition of marriage. We hope that these two recommendations will serve as a catalyst for the church to engage in this deep conversation. The task before us was an impossible one, but this committee accomplished something of a miracle. For two days, we sat together prayed together, studied together, and listened, listened, listened to the voices of the whole church. We heard and absorbed the pain and aspirations of others, wrestled with the potential impacts our actions might have on the church, and sincerely valued all the perspectives brought to us. Your brothers and sisters on Committee 13 tried to hold a broken church together with both hands. We humbly bring these recommendations to you in the hope that the whole church might experience what we have experienced, an honest, humbling, open, and free conversation with our sisters and brothers who also seek to be faithful to Jesus the Christ, in whom we have all experienced our salvation.